It's available today, Android 15 Beta 3. If you're enrolled in the beta program, very easy to do. Just a couple clicks and you'll get enrolled, right? Um, uh, Android 15 Beta 3 is available today with final system behaviors as part of the platform stability milestone. So what does that mean to the average person? Well, this means we're just one step closer to a stable build. Now, I say stable build just because that's what that's what it's categorized in. Uh, that's what it's labeled as. But I've been my beta has been pretty stable uh, for the last few months. In fact, I don't only remember one issue I had and that was solved a few months ago. So we're just that much closer to the, I guess, I guess the right term in my opinion would be public build, stable public build, which is a basically available, which everybody will get and be able to use. Even just your, your average person that has no idea what the beta program is. They just bought a pixel and they use it. Um, that's technically, I guess the, uh, public release. Um, but let's check out what's new in this beta three, right? Now this is available for all Pixel devices down to Pixel 6. So Pixel 6, 6a, 6 Pro, all the way up to 8, 8 Pro, and the Google Pixel Tablet, Google Pixel Fold, all that good stuff. So volume menu can no longer be minimized, right? Um, I'll probably list a bunch of these on our site. Interesting. Speakers and displays label removed. Okay. Any fun stuff we have here? I have no idea. Adaptive timeout. That's cool. Oh, ter automatically turns off the screen if you're not using your device. Normally you'll see this one, screen attention, where the screen won't go dim if it knows that your, your eyes are on the screen. But this is a new one, adaptive timeout. In fact, I don't think I've seen that on any cell phone. Uh, so that's new. Device and app notifications, notification red, reply, and control. Cool. So you get better na uh, a notification um, control. More prominent, circle to search off switch. If you don't know what circle to search is, that's the feature where you can literally Google search anything that's on your phone display. So whether it's a pair of J's or some Nikes, or it's a smartwatch you see somebody have on a movie, or you take a picture of somebody's smartwatch when they're not looking, you can search that. So it's a very cool feature. So now it's getting updated. Also, shortcut to color, contrast preferences, and settings display. Blah, blah, blah. Android safe browsing. Uh, okay, that's cool. Show long app names. This is nice. This is what has bothered me for years. If you have a long app name, and you choose to show the name underneath the application. If the name is too long, it'll only play it or it'll only show you and or list the first like seven characters of that app name and then it'll just cut off. So it could be like my home and you don't you don't get to see the remaining part uh, remaining amount. So now it'll you have the option to extend the, the full name. So it'll instead of being my home, it'll be my home network. Right, very cool. Long overdue for that. Updated Android 15 system icon. Interesting. No more vanilla ice cream. Vanilla ice cream is gone. That's the name of their operating system. I guess they either are, I doubt they're gonna change it, but I think they just took it off uh, out of the operating system. Home controls for your screensaver for the Pixel tablet. Redesign screenshot preview. Now, this is going to be cool. Let's let's give it a try. Actions placed below the preview. It looks a bit odd when there are just two actions. And those actions is a share button and a markup button and or edit. So let's give it a try. Yep, it's there. Cool. All right, 
resolved issues here's what i'm interested so not many new features there are some subtle changes inside the operating system um but the stability the bug fixes that's what i'm more interested in uh and let's see what they fix so we have fixed an issue where disabling uh polling fix an issue where disable disabling polling using the set discovery technology method did not disable polling okay fix an issue that prevented the system share sheet from loading in some cases fixed an issue that caused the system settings app to crash when accessing screen saver options fixed an issue that sometimes caused the screen unlock icon to be displayed when notifications were already on the screen fixed an issue that prevented mobile network security settings from being changed other resolved issues fixed an issue with the android emulator that caused simple perf to crash when running cpu profile ah bluetooth issues resolved resolved an issue where bluetooth le scans could persist in the system after an app crash fixed a bug in bluetooth le legacy advertising all right let's see fix a bug that caused le connection to fail uh failures on the gatt server by passing the address type all right pretty boring uh for the general public but uh i tend to eat up all that info me being a nerd but we'll probably get into this a little later in the week um big news is that it's out and if you have the beta software if you're running it on your pixel Go ahead and down, uh, download this, install this, so you're on the uh, latest and greatest beta and just that much closer to the stable public build, <laughs> right? So I'll probably add some, some more links in the description box below, so if you're watching this on repeat or replay, uh, should have some info for you, right? Okay, now check this out.